I've been drinking, I've been drinking I get filthy when the liquor get into me I've been thinking, I've been thinking Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hawa Bunga. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Become a ninja, join the game. Um, you'll love it here, I promise. So definitely subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I turned my turn my knotless braids into these bomb faux locks. They're kind of I did like um kind of distressed um bohemian type locks super fun super cute super fast and this light is not heavy at all and i'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to loosen your locks if they're so so definitely keep on watching for that if you want to see how i got this style how you could achieve it as well just keep on watching so we are about to get started turning my old month old knotless braids into some bomb locks i think i'm gonna do butterfly locks we'll see when we get there um i might do soft locks butterfly locks either way so before we get started i just want to show you the products that you're going to need to achieve this look and by the way if you haven't noticed my um braids my knotless braids is already like cut into like a box style let me see let me see that anyways so what you're gonna need is a pack of water wave hair i'll leave this brand and a few other brands that i know that people use i've seen on um youtube and you know other styles of use but this is like the passion twist hair it looks like this i ordered mine from amazon um, you can get yours from the local beauty supply store or you can order on Amazon. I ordered mine yesterday and got it today, so same difference to me. Next thing you're going to need is a um, crochet needle. If you don't have one, I can show you how you can do this style without a crochet needle. But then the last thing you're going to need is some type of edge control. This is the kind that I use. I also ordered... Mm, focus i also ordered this on amazon as well but this edge control is specifically for edge and braid gel it's specifically for like um braiding styles and it works wonders and doesn't leave any build up or anything like that so that's why i love this and um maybe like a edge brush with like i have an edge brush that also have a comb because you know like my parts are kind of like disappearing so i'm probably going to perfect my parts a little bit i washed my hair already so if you had your hair in your braids in for a while and you know when you put an edge control in you get that build up um along the edges of your hair and all of that you don't want that so you definitely want to wash your braids i washed my brush and conditioned my braids and i oiled my scalp i actually um use these products as a, this brand sent me to kind of loosen the buildup before i shampooed my hair and baby it worked wonders because i've washed my hair with braids before and even though i washed it the buildup was still in there but because i like loosened up the buildup with the products that um i got from the brand i will put them somewhere on the screen it was so bomb i am actually going to get started on these i'm going to do some of the back and then once i reach the front i'm going to come back and show you um how to do it so yeah be right back and we're back okay so first you want to kind of clean up your parts a little bit that's what i do um, style, so it could look like a brand new fresh hairstyle and then I'm going to lay some edge control all along the roots of my braid and kind of brush it in with the edge brush so once you take out a piece of hair you just need one piece and you just want to completely separate the hair you want to slide the crochet needle through the root of your hair attach the hair pull the hair through and then basically loop the hair in between the hair kind of like you're tying the shoe a little bit and then pull till it's tight i like to make one strand of the hair 
longer than the other but you don't have to do this that's just my preference just the fyi this or this hair that i have um and i think most of the brands are like this it comes with six smaller packs in that large pack of hair i use three packs of the hair um plus one strand out of the fourth pack just the fyi once you have the hair looped through the braid you want to take one side of the hair I like to use the shorter side but I don't really think it matters and you want to take that strand and you want to hold it with the braid then you want to take the other half of the strand and you want to wrap that around your hair so you want to start at the root the roots <laughs> you want to start at the root and wrap it a few times at the root um I don't do this too much because I don't want it too tight and too stiff so I only do it a few times and then I start working my way down the braid to get that butterfly distressed look um, I like to put my thumb or your nail um, under the hair uh, on the braid and wrap the hair around the thumb wrap it above the thumb below the thumb a few times maybe like three times and then remove your thumb from under it and then it'll give it that loopy distress effect i hope that makes sense but if you really pay attention to what i'm doing you'll be able to see and get it it's very easy once you get towards the end of the first strand, I like to put a little knot in it just to secure it. And then I will use the second strand to continue to wrap down to the end of the hair. And once I get down to the end of the hair, you can either make a knot again and let it be. Um, but I like to use got to be glued or just to secure it even more, make sure it doesn't go anywhere, make sure it doesn't slide down um because that tends to happen with these locks um if you don't have got to be glue uh spray you can use like i've seen people use like nail polish clear nail polish and things like that so now i'm going to show you how to do this style without the crochet needle um, so you do the same thing with the edge control around the roots then you take the hair and you loop the hair around the braid tightly and then you take one of the strands of the hair um, I think it's the one on the bottom and then you start to wrap that around the braid and the other strand of the hair very similar to how you'll do it with the crochet needle um but this time you're not putting the hair through the only risk of doing it this way is that you risk the lock sliding down um but it's still a you know cool method and it works so guys i'm going to show you how to do this both ways sped up so that you could kind of get the gifs and then i will be right back why can't i keep my fingers off you baby i want you nah, nah, nah. cigars on ice cigars on ice feeling like an animal these cameras all in my throat flashing lights flashing lights Got me fitted, 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 baby, I want you, na Can't keep your eyes off my fatty daddy, I want you So now I'm just going to show you the finishing touches of what, like to, what I like to do. Um, I like to fix my little baby hairs. You can do these as you please. I also like to oil my scalp. Um, I'm using the same oil that I showed you before from the Bayes Bayou um, brand. 
and I oil my scalp with that. I've sprayed my hair with some leave-in conditioner. This will help loosen the lock so that it's not as stiff and um, help with the tension as well. I also like to use this mousse. Um, I specifically like to use this one because it has olive oil in it. Um, it's amazing, but you definitely want to use some type of mousse and it'll make it super shiny. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, become a ninja, join the gang. You will love it here. I promise, I promise, I promise. And um, thank you all for watching. I hope you got value out of this video. Comment below if you tried these out. I want to see. Comment below if you tried these out and let me know your Instagram so I can see the photos of it and everything because I want to see, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.